Lock Shields is never, never complete. Well, Lock Shields is a pressure cooker. It starts with a command start X, and then actually we are really looking, hey, is it all up and running what we have prepared half a year? With the exercise setup, we try to give our participating defensive teams the most comprehensive and realistic experience of what does it feel like to defend their nation under a serious volley of cyber attacks. Uh, Lockshield is unique in our ability to bring in cyber-physical systems. They have an impact for our everyday life, but they have a cyber component. It means that they are vulnerable um, for the cyber attacks. Militaries are using satellites for uh, surveillance, communication and navigation. And if we take out the eyes of the military, it will have huge impact for military operations. If we take out navigation systems, then we have huge impact in uh, society. We have a, a, a live red team that's uh, testing and probing. They're changing their uh, approaches uh, to the way the teams are defending. Additionally, we add in the uh, strategic decision-making element to the exercise. And that again is looking at uh, not just the ones and zeros, but how do people react under pressure? We have processes and procedures. Do they follow those processes and procedures in a time of great stress? Do our policies need to be changed? We're now looking more at the information environment we're looking at more current threats. We're looking at replicating the real world issues. So it's very much now looking at, yes, still technical, but also other aspects of information and the social media side and how people are manipulated in terms of their perceptions and how they're influenced at a much broader concept now. Lockshield has always been a remote exercise. So the, the blue teams have always participated remotely from their own countries and have used the network to engage with uh, the organisers. This time, many of the organisers were remote as well. So we had a very small team actually in Tallinn and uh, the majority of the, the organisers were also remote. So we've always called um, Lockshield the largest live fire cyber defence exercise in the world. We could now say it's the largest remotely organized live fire cyber defense exercise. So the cooperation we've gotten with the private sector this year was uh, unparalleled. I mean, it was incredible. Uh, we learned a lot uh, just by bringing them in and having them discuss what were their uh, concerns. We really thank our industrial partners. Thanks to them, we can give the real world products to be attacked and defended. And I would like to call on military industry to join our Lock Shields exercise in the future to use this as a resource to develop and test their products against cyber attacks.